Yo fam, back with the short four video series of the top four questions that I've been asked the most about social media, digital marketing, SEO, etc. And question number three, which really felt like number one, and most of you care about this a lot, and it's, what the heck do I do about the new Instagram algorithm? The algorithm is killing me. It's not showing our posts anymore. And the first thing I'm gonna tell you now, mind you, I'm gonna give you some specific tips, but the first thing is, get over it. That's how algorithms work. First of all and foremost, it's a supply and demand aspect, and this goes across all platforms. Any new platform or existing platform, it's let's say you have this much supply and this much demand of content. What that means is all of this supply is going to get shown to all of this demand more so in an organic manner. So you're going to get a lot more eyeballs, you're going to get a lot more engagement. When a platform becomes popular like Instagram is today, the supply goes up meets the demand or surpasses the demand. Now, there's only so many eyeballs to go around for this much content on the supply side. So that means that naturally, organically, your content's gonna get shown less in feeds. And that's just how it goes. And also, keep in mind that at the end of the day, it's a pay to play game, right? So the platform wants you to, once you're hooked on it, to pay to be shown. So that's essentially just like Facebook business pages were in the past. So now, what can you actually do about it? The new way to get engagement is to get the most amount of saves and shares. Saves is a little bookmark uh, logo on the bottom right. Shares is a little paper airplane, whether people are sharing it to their story or sharing it on DMs to other people. And it's really going back to the basics. What kind of content can I create that's going to generate saves, bookmarks, or shares? It's value. So what kind of value can I provide? And value is going to come in two forms usually. It's either going to be entertainment or information slash education. So whether that means creating really cool, informative infographics, or, or, or giving out specific tips or information that are gonna cause people to actually bookmark or say something to view it later, that's huge. And so if you're on the entertainment side, is maybe it's, maybe it's humor or something that's you know, um, really awesome from a standpoint of creativity, like something that's really gonna get someone to wanna spend time watching your content and wanna share it or bookmark it from an entertainment standpoint. So really, it comes down to going back to the basics of really providing value and not just showing a pretty picture. That's what's gonna help the Instagram algorithm, but at the end of the day, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Do your best you can to really provide value to try to make sure that you're battling this whole supply and demand aspect. So that's it, till next one on question number two. Peace.